Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The national spotlight is on MLB The Show's Game of the Week. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton, the both sides. This game really matters as the postseason is approaching. Well, at this point of the year, players are a little bit tired, but you've got to find a way to dig deeper and bring out your best with so much opportunity to be able to punch your ticket for October. Just about ready to roll here and towing the slab here, Spencer Strider. Well, Boog, a lot of pitchers come into spring training with one goal, and that's to make 30 starts or more on the season. Well, here he is uh, reaching that milestone. Just impressive. He's been able to take care of himself, put himself in a position as well that he can be effective, pitch deeper into ball games to help his team win. It's going to be real interesting to see how he does in this one. There could be some fatigue setting in, but he's gotten to a point that a lot of guys aspire to get to. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. That's Breaking ball. ball inside. Two New and one. one. No. And Mookie takes. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Righty delivers. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. To the right side. Olsen handles the chance. Takes it himself. Ow. One up, one down. Batting second. The Time second. to check out the Dodgers lineup. And a key factor for this club in that leadoff spot, Mookie Betts. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball Whoa. a lot. Gavin Lux One ball. at the no plate strike. and takes high there. Strider, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a curve, and he works in a two-seamer. Oh. Next offering is in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Here's a 1-1. Foul ball there. One out, base is empty. That one way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. Oh. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that, that pitch, he's going to want to punch the himself. That slider had hit me written Ready. all over it. And Three. clearly, he just got a little too excited. It was out oh. in front. Tell you what, when you get a One pitch out. like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Two down, nobody on. And that one clips the corner. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Line drive, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. He's been swinging it really well. Like, a lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Max Muncy now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Now the 1 And that one fouled off.
The 0 2. Line drive, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So up next, Adolis Garcia. Homered last night, added another hit as well. And misses inside. Two on, two outs. Swings through that one for strike one. one more. Strider, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. And a pitch. That one ripped. Pulls it in on the run. And that is that. Dodgers strand a couple. And now the Braves, with their first chance to hit, were scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Atlanta, our starter in this one, Dustin May. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Michael Harris in the box here lets that one go for a ball. extra bases now he'll turn for second and he's got a leadoff double couldn't have timed it up any better than that nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly here's Brandon Nimmo definitely scuffling at the dish lately only two hits over the last five games Ball one. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. No Save the third, moves up on the pass ball. And the righty deals. Ball. Inside no. just missed. Hot shot to third. Zips it across, but it's one nothing as the run scores. So important to really lock in on an at bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that right in. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Chris has been a good year for him, having already set a new career high for RBIs in a season. That one missed. Well, here's a player who hits the ball a mile when he connects. In fact, Acuna is the first player in the StatCast era to hit 10 straight home runs, all traveling more than 420 feet. He's not exactly just clearing the fences out there. Next offering is in for a strike. And a good eye outside. there. May delivers. Bounce to the right. Lux. Tosses to first. They get the out on Acuna. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. This is a ball club that can really slug. Lots of homers, lots of extra base hits. And Chris, that, of course, a huge part of success in the standings for this group. 
Well, if you're going to be successful in today's game, you've got to be able to hit the ball over the fence. Just defensively, very hard to find the holes. And when you're talking about guys you know, coming out of the bullpen, throwing 95 and above, oh. very difficult. It's hard to string together two, three, four hits to score those runs. So definitely critical to hit those homers, get the extra base knocks, and that's exactly what they've been doing. Two outs, base is empty. Right side. He takes it himself He's to the out. bag, and that'll do it. So they get one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. End of the first from Truist Park. It's the Braves one, and the Dodgers nothing. And welcome back we to the ballpark. The All set for the start the of the catcher. inning. And now the Will catcher comes up to him. Smith. Will Smith. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. Strider out there on the mound for this one, and he's a guy who had a really impressive college career, but needed Tommy John surgery while playing for Clemson. And outside that's outside. Ball. And that's ball one. You know, Boog, Strider spent time with a sports psychologist at Clemson while rehabbing from his surgery. We talked a lot about the concept of purpose and the importance of having a defined goal for everything you do. You know, it's something Strider now preaches himself. Late with the swing there. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Boogie well, just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swing and a miss, and that is strike one. No ball, one strike. The Dodgers down by a run here at the top of the second. Yeah. Swings through that one. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Strike on the inside corner. The Braves up by a run here in game three of this four game series. Ball one, one there. That's a really good job of laying off the 0 2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Swung on, belted. That's back. It has the distance gone. And it ties it up. It's 1 1. He absolutely feasts on right handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Chris Taylor stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Taylor races for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. Back to the top of the lineup. And now it's Mookie Betts. 
Ah. And the pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0 1. Oh, Tied up here in the early going. Ball. And ball one. That one down foul. the line and foul ball. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Bottom half of inning number two. Now here is Austin Riley. Austin Riley. The pitch up the middle bats up with it and quickly oh. went away in the second batting six the designated hitter Marcel here's Marcelo Zuna that catches the corner man I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. That one's in there, and that's strike two. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. The 0-2. Oh. Swings and misses, struck him out. Make quick work of him right there, Siggy. I know that's the kind of a bat maybe leaves a lot of fans wondering, what was he doing up there, right? Yeah, and I get that. I mean, you take two straight strikes, then chase one way out of the zone. It's it's just not a good at bat. It'll leave you shaking your head as a hitter, if not worse. But there's always going to be those trips to the plate where you're just lost up there, and that was one of them for sure. Here is Ozzy Albies up to it. And that's in there for strike one. That one rip, but foul. Going two now. Oh. And that skips in the dirt. Ball. Just no. missed. It's a good take. Two ball, two strike. And okay. another ball. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one is out of here. A gigantic blast. His 37th homer of the year. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2-1. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Base is empty with two away. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. 
The Warm shortstop out. takes the ball. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. Bottom half of inning number two. Wouldn't chase that time. May, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. The 2 1. Ball. 3 1. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. And that's ball four. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot that to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. So here's Murphy now. Miss. Arcia leads off first with two down to the inning. This to third. They take the force out. Play made. That ends the inning. Albies with the key hit for Atlanta. And this is now a 2 1 ball game. Third inning coming up in MLB The Show's Game of the Week. On to the third inning, and now it's Gavin Lux. The second baseman. Taken high in the Gavin. draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform, but at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce ah. at the big league level. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpire and crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game, ah. and the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. Good job to fight that one off. The 0-2. And ball. that's down and away. One ball, two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Left-hand hitter waits. Pitches in the dirt, and the count's even at two. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the catch, and there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted, just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open, backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch Freddie. angle, not where he needed it to be. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit, and he's already singled in this game. And there's a strike, good heater at 98. Freddie Freeman delivered a master class in 2023. Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success, and it helped Freeman produce a 977 OPS, 29 home runs, and more no, than 100 that's RBIs. That's a One great ball. season. To third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield.
Up next to the Dodgers. Runner on at first with one gone. Max. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Max Muncie. Muncie hits one in the air. Nimmo has it sized up. Nabs it two away down. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Adolis Garcia. He's 0 for 1. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter Whoa. doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Tying run is at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Going to count one and two. One, two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. So one hit is all they get. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Braves two and the Dodgers one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. Harris, 23 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. May, back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The belt and fires. And a foul ball. The O two. Would chase that time. Stays alive. The pitch. That one almost got him. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Pretty much the last guy you want to hit. Now you've got to try to control the running game because you know he's usually thinking about swiping a bag or two when he's on the bases. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Uh -huh. Nimmo stands in now no and watches one strike, strike one. Harris gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That one, one not close. One and two to count. Especially with two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Oh, and now it's three and two. Still oh, yeah. just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. 
kick the three two inside ball four. The right fielder number 13. Here's Acuna Acuna. now. Grounded out his first time up. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time and that produces solid contact consistently. And he deals. That one fouled off. And takes low for ball one. one ball. First and second Two here, no outs. And the one two misses to even the count. The other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And now Matt Olson up to hit. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. This guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year. And that one fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone here in the last half of the third. One and that's one. in the dirt. Here it comes. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. A massive home run. His 39th home run of the season. And they tack on three. It's 5-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Here's Austin Riley. Grounded out his first time. Just ball, missed. Really? With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. One down, base is empty. Two that out. misses. Now 2-0. and oh. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Righty to the plate. And ball. another ball. No strike. And a four pitch walk. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we no, gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good hitter. question. Um, yeah. I think that if they oh, gave the pitcher God. a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Ozuna oh. now in the box comes up empty oh, with a swing there. Ooh. Next offering is in for a strike. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Kicks and deals. The punch out there, two away. 
Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so. In an 0-2 count, you feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Albies in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Two outs. Oh. Struck him oh. out looking. Atlanta gets three on the homer. It's now a 5-1 ball game. Three innings in the book on MLB The Show's Game of the Week. Back at Truist Sweetie Park, Garfield, here's the catcher, Will Smith. The catcher, Will Smith. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. You got to continue to keep your head down, play catch with that catcher, and just try to move through this lineup. Ball. Pitch misses, 1-0. You know, these Dodgers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. The center field, number 33. Just kept it James. simple, played Pepper with the middle oh, of the man. infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. And now James no, Outman. That's outside. And that one just missed off the outside edge. The Dodgers down by four. Top half of inning number four. And the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. And a pitch. Ball. And a ball evens the count. Out towards right center field. Harris calls it in, and there's one away. Man at first. Here's the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. He's already homered in this game. And the pitch late on that fastball well you got to find okay. a way to catch up to that pitch perhaps shorten the swing eliminate the stride that one came in hot but right down the middle you're saying to yourself how did I miss that pitch got to make a quick adjustment wow just great bite to that slider broke hard out of the zone and he just couldn't hold up the swing you know as a hitter that pitch is really hard to take and there's just not much you can do with it you know that but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire Taylor yeah. at the plate with two away no swings through First that one. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. That's off the mark, and it's one and two. 0-2 oh, fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. The pitch. Swing and a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. 
Those always feel great. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Here's Mookie no. Betts. Just off the outside edge. Ball one. Turns and fires to Betts. Uh -huh. There's a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Waskari Noah getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Morton getting cranked up as well. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. So they strand a pair. And midway in the fourth, it's the Braves five and the Dodgers one. And we're back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Orlando Arcia. Arcia. The right-hander back to work. And there's a foul ball. You know, these Braves doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty Ooh. special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. The pitch. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Outman makes a nice grab at a full spread. The, the catcher, Sean. Here's Sean Murphy. Murphy. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. One zero. -oh. Base is empty. One away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That's a little bit low. There's a strike. Two and one now. One down. Base is empty. The two on is high. Swing and a ball popped up. Bet settles underneath it. Calls it in to away. Now batting. The center fielder. Michael. So the batting order turns over. Michael Harris digs in now. First offering is fouled off. Ground ball right that's side. Foul. And that's just foul. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs. Foul ball still a one and two count. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Ball. Next pitch is outside. Ball. 
on the ground right side Lux throws the first in time and the inning is over Braves are set down one two three they lead this one though five one ready now for the fifth inning and now it's going to be Gavin Lux Gavin Lux Strider back to work they've got a potent lineup and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit they're right at the top of the list you know these Dodgers Three. digging into their numbers no have ball. to be happy Three with strike. the swings they're taking they've hit seven line drives already and even though some of them have been for outs there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact that's almost always going to lead to positive results ball. next offering is downstairs one ball two strikes In the air, pretty deep out to center field. And makes the grab. One away. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Freeman Ball, up for no. the third time here watches that one miss Boog, he never moved because he never had time to but that kind of velocity you'd prefer that pitcher work away ah. next offering is in for a strike on the ground the first Olsen handles the chance and he takes it himself for the out the third baseman, number 13, Max. Two outs, base is empty. Max Muncy getting ready to hit. One for two. Cracks his bat and pops him off. Riley makes the catch, and that is that. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're down 5-1. Back now, now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Gavin Stone. Gavin. Well, they didn't get much length out Stone. of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Now the number two Lee hitter, up. Brandon the Nimmo. The left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. The wind of the pitch. That one to first, and it goes just foul. Right handed reliever. Fought off foul. Chris, you look at it, these are the spots where guys can come on, pitch well, instill some confidence in the manager, and all of a sudden, they're pitching higher leverage spots of the postseason. Well, in this final month, I mean, this is an audition period for the call-ups, but it's also for that marginal reliever that was on the roster throughout the season to maybe step up and be on that playoff roster. Foul ball still 0-2. That one the other way. Fair ball. The right fielder. Number Showed 13. a willingness to drive that pitch Long the opposite way. He didn't get jumpy, he didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Among all the stats, when you look at Ronald Acuna Jr. in 2023, maybe the most impressive, he was able to put up his power numbers while cutting his strikeout rate almost in half. He's got it, and there's one away. 
I got to say, Truist Park has a nice old school feel to it, especially with those great views of the skyline over the outfield walls. And they specifically designed the seating areas to get more fans as close to the field as possible. Man, at first, here is Matt Olson. He's already homered here in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And okay. another ball. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Yep. In there at the knees, and it's 2-1. and one. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. The count 2-1. and one. No. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. And the righty deals. He swings and fouls one off. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air, and that'll fall for a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Not in time. He's safe. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, now and certainly the case third that base. time. Just flared it back Off behind there. the second baseman and dropped it in there. So they're at the corners now. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Outside. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Rudders at the corners, one away. Last half of inning number five. Next pitch in for a strike at one and one. And he deals. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. And now it's one and two. Got him. Now two out. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Next is the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First oh, offering, no. and it just misses. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Runners on first and third, two away. Here in game three of this four-game series. Ah. And that is cut on and missed. And the count two is ball. even two and two. two And downstairs. 3 2, oh, yeah. two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Ozzie Albies would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Outman grabs it on the run. Two left for Atlanta. They're up 5 1. We're back, and they make a change to start the six. The new pitcher, Waskari Noah. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. 
And at the plate for the Dodgers, Adolis Garcia. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Here comes a pitch. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. Oh one now. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Goes down looking. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. The batter now will be Will Smith. First round pick out of Louisville in 2016. No, that's too high. Just missed. You know, huh? A 6 2 righty. He features a slider, a four seamer, a changeup, and he works in a two seamer. Now, this is in the air down the line. Acuna on the run. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. Bounce to third, Riley. Tosses across That's the first, out. and they get the out on Smith. The center fielder, number 33, James. Outman. Two outs, base is empty. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That pitch gets the corner. 0-1. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Two down, nobody on. Three. Right through there for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. That no, one just outside. misses the outside corner. And yeah, the count one and two. High fly ball down the left field line. Nimmo pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. Three up, three down for him there. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Braves five and the Dodgers one. Back here in Atlanta, go, standing in is the power hitting second baseman, second baseman. Ozzie Albies. Ozzie. Albies. A wind in the pitch. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So, man aboard, and next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. That's hard hit on the line. Makes the grab. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Now batting, catcher, Sean Murphy. Here's the catcher to hit, Sean Murphy. You have to stay disciplined in these at-bats. Try not to chase. A strikeout here is the last thing you want. Outside. Just missed. Albies stands at third with one gone in the inning. Next yeah. offering in there for a strike. One ball. And it's a ball and a strike. strike. 
and a pitch. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. That misses the zone. Two and two. The pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Garcia ranging back. Leaping. And he brought it back. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. It's 6-1. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. Michael Harris. In the air to left down the line. Moving under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. One run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left on. We're through six full. Braves six, and the Dodgers one. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Enoa back to work. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Pierce Johnson getting ready to go. Bummer, the power lefty up as well. That one's in there, and it's 0-2. 0-2 no count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something ah, off speed three. away. And a swing and a miss. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the, the seven. Number three. Chris Taylor down. Chris Taylor. Ball. And a good eye there. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. And that turns the lineup over. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Here's Mookie Betts now. Ball that's one that. low. Clips the inside corner for a One strike. More. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And it skips in the dirt. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. That one just misses, and that's ball three. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Three and two now. In the air, right side. Acuna there. Drops into the glove. That's out number two. The batter number nine. Second baseman, Gavin Lux. Man at first. Now it's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at-bat to hit. The Braves leading by five here in the top half of inning number seven. And down on strikes. That ends the frame. One left for L.A. They trail it 6-1.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. Now the left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Activity in the bullpen. Daniel Hudson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Chris Matt also getting ready. Left hand batter waits. And he takes a strike. Righty delivers. Outside low. And that is ball one. Good eye in that spot. The why to kick the pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Makes it safely. It's a leadoff double in the bottom of the seventh. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Pitcher for the Dodgers, James Paxton. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Now feel playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. No. Inside, inside just missed. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. The 1 0. Chopper right side. And that one handled. Fires to first on the run. Awesome play there. Now back. The first baseman. Matt Olson. Matt Olson up to the plate. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air. Look for the right pitch up and then smoke it. That no. one missed. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Whoa. Next offering misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Left-hand hitter waits. No, that one missing ball. inside. That's a good miss off the inside part of the plate. You'd much rather miss there than out over the plate where this guy could do some real damage. And here it comes. Hard Fastball ball. for a strike. Swings ah. through that one for strike two. Full count. One away with a runner at third. Here at the bottom of the seventh. And he Take walked him. Ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something now that's bad. been part of his career since hit. day one. Oh, one down. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. A strikeout and a walk. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Now fly ball to right center. On the move. He's got it. Runner tags from third. The throw is oh, offline and he's in to score. And it's now a six run lead. And the batter now, Marcelo Zuna. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a fly out. Oh, Zuna. Ball one there. 
One run across in the frame so far here in game three of this four game series. Ball Pitch two. misses there. Ball two. Two ball. No strike. And that's in there at the knees. Two ball, one strike. That one fouled off, two and two. And that's in the dirt. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Ozzie Albies on deck for Atlanta. And now the lefty. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throws the first. Out. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. So a run on one hit. No errors and a man left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Braves seven and the Dodgers one. For the top of the He's eight, Freddie the Freeman up to the dish. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. And a pitch. That's right a through strike. there for a strike. No ball. One strike. On the ground to third. Over to first. Out. First out in the top of the eighth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll 14. over. Max Muncy. Max Muncy at the dish. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Lifted in the air out to left. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Now that And now right the right fielder, fielder Adolis, Adolis Garcia. And a Garcia. little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. And first offering is fouled off. Pitch. Right oh, through there two. for a strike. Oh, two. Oh, Got three. it by him for the K. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the now pitcher batting. for having him out in front of that pitch. Will Clearly, he had him fooled. Man at first, Will Smith now at the plate. One for three. That's Just the off the inside edge. One ball, no strike. Bounce to the left side. Arcia whips it to He's first, out. and they get the out on Smith. That's the third out. So the Dodgers leave one. They're down seven to one. Back at Truist Park. Now it's going to be Ozzie Albies. Leading up for the Braves. The second baseman, Ozzie. As the lefty gets to work. And that's outside. And it's 1 0. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Daniel Hudson appears to be getting loose. Off the, no, plate, off the plate, and that's ball two. No, Just missed.
3 Ball 1, four. and he couldn't Take come up with it. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just Lady capable of hitting away. pitches outside of the zone That's and driving shot. them a long way. Orlando. So, man aboard. Arcia. Here's Orlando Arcia. That clips a corner. Gets the call, and it's 0-2. Well, oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, no. he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Albies gets his lead at first with nobody out. In the air, right field. Garcia heads after it. Garcia makes the grab. The batter, the catcher, Sean Murphy. And here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. Hey. Pitch in for a strike. Oh, one. one. The Braves up big in this one. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And a swing to miss. No ball. Two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Now Otherwise, it probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Albies makes the turn at second. Coming home. He'll score easily, and they're pulling away up by seven now. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Alex Vesia. Well, he struggled Alex. quite a bit, so this is another Vesia. opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Man in scoring position with two away. Brandon Nimmo next up for the Braves. Ball one, no strikes. Big swing and a miss. Wow, one good ball. luck catching one up to strike. that one. Two outs and one in scoring position. That two misses. One. Two and one. What a chase two. that time. Ronald Acuna Jr. next to bat for the Braves. Man at second. Foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. 3-2. On the ground, right side. He'll do it himself, out. and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. A run, a hit, and a man left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Braves eight, and the Dodgers won. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. James Outman. The pitch. And a strike on the outside edge. Bounce to the right side, and it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. 
He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. So digging in, Teoscar Hernandez. In the air, left field. Nimmo makes the catch. Back when they started construction on Truist Park, Freddie Freeman and Hank Aaron laid down ceremonial bricks, but the first brick was put down by Eustace Morris. He's the same person who laid the first stones for Old Fulton County Stadium and Turner Field. Taylor, the next to hit, takes ball one. Like you said, Boog, the Braves have really done a great job of honoring their history here at Truist Park. When they had their first game, Hank threw out the first pitch to former manager Bobby Cox, and they both have statues in Monument Garden. The Braves up big in this one here at the top of the ninth. Right through there for a strike. And that's a base hit. Lead runner around second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single. Now batting. The shortstop. Mookie. Back to the top of the Dodgers okay. order. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, oh. yes, but also some power. Outman, the runner at third. Taylor at first, one gone. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's going back. Back some more. That one hops against the fence. Around third. He'll score. Two runs are in, and it's 8 3. Nicely done. Second Brings eight. home two. Really yeah, good man. swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws. They hand the ball over to a new arm Aaron Bummer and you know bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game so we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Man at second with one away. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The oh. next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Man, it's second. Ball and two. another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't Full chase count. that time. And foul ball. Just a matter of inches from picking up an RBI base hit and maybe a double in the process. That was barely foul. On the ground at first. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Freddie Freeman will hit next.
Right. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. No ball. One strike. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. And Freeman is retired. And there's two away. So they're down to their final out. Muncy digs in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. You put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Throw to first. And that'll do it as they complete the strikeout to end it. This team is completely in the driver's seat right now. You won the first two games of a series at home. You have to come back for the next game ready to put your foot on their necks and win the ball game, win the series. You can dominate. You've got the energy of the fans behind you. After what they've done in the first three games of this series, you know this place is going to be packed for the fourth game. 8-3 the final in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by the game of the week. I'm John Chomby. We'll talk to you soon. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Eight runs on eight hits. No errors. They left six runners on base. For the Dodgers, three runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left 10 runners on base.